Welcome back everybody. It's time to attempt the first paint batch of the year. It's still a little bit dirty outside in the air. There's some pollen and some, some dust that's floating around, but Senior and I discussed it and we both agreed that uh, doing all the Super M wheel parts would be the, the perfect kind of introductory paint batch of the year uh, because we've got pretty much all rough cast surfaces here. It's pretty forgiving for if anything wants to float by and then stick to it. Otherwise, if we were trying to do like H sheet metal, we'd probably end up with a rough sandpaper fisheye type finish the way the weather is right now still. But um, he says those wheel parts, pretty forgiving. Let's roll right on ahead. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, the true test of how good of a finish we will get is going to be on the machined face of uh, the Zeus pulley. Wingnut welding in the comments section aptly named it the Zeus pulley because it's the boss. <laughs> so uh, depending on the type of finish we get here, that'll give us some feedback as to whether or not uh, we could probably get away with some H sheet metal for the next batch. So let's get it all underway. Well, we did a test run on the uh, pulley hubs. There's a primer in the hubs. Uh, that's all as far as we're going to go on these. Won't be painting these at all. Hopefully, they'll be uh, covered with paper in the future here. So, And this is the compressor we use. It is a HF compressor. It's been an excellent compressor so far. It's perfect for painting with that HVLP gun, but a little bit lacking on the sandblaster. So we're getting set up now. We got uh, our settings all set where we want them. So we're going to start with the uh, hubs first. Got a little bit of stuff floating in the air. Actually, it's not too bad today, and uh, the mosquitoes haven't been real bad either. So get our first coat of primer on. After that, uh, we get these done. We're going to move them in right away just in case we get a lot of stuff floating around. Being this cast, we're not real fussy if it gets a little stuff on. Probably never see it anyway. So, first thing we're doing, we'll spray the bottom sides on the grate. After the bottom sides are done where we want them, we'll flip them up the other way and set them over here in the barrels and finish the other sides. And we got the bottom sides done. We're going to do the flip and get the other sides. See, we've used these barrels for quite a few different things and it work excellent really for what we're doing. After the primer's done on these pieces, we'll move them in and then we'll bring the uh, wheel weights out and get them done the same process. This is our fresh air supply for the uh, hood he's got on. Basically, it's got garden hose fittings. Uh, we use just de dedicated hoses, so we don't use them for anything else. It does have a HEPA filter on the side. It keeps our air pretty much purified. And this is a Hobby Air 2, which is big enough you could run uh, two units off of it. We had to. It's got the Y at the bottom there. Here we are getting the initial bottom side of the front wheel weights. Again, same procedures of hubs. As you can see, we have these long studs in there. Works, works perfect. We're not real concerned about the nuts on there because there'll be bolts going in them holes anyway. So after that, same procedure. Get the one side done, we'll flip them over, put them on the barrels, and then we'll move them in. Only had one mosquito in the hub so far. Uh, so far doing real good that way. Next up, getting the bolts done and hardware for mounting. Well, this is our last piece to prime, that monster pulley there. We're hoping uh, we got enough primer to finish. The uh, reason we did this last is if we run out of primer, uh, we can uh, maybe do this later, but hoping we get enough. Well, we're done with primer, uh, starting with the paint now. We kind of just got things set up temporary on three legs here. Main reason we're doing that is because we got the uh, 
hub cap on the bottom side we don't want to scuff so we're holding that off the surface of the barrels then when we're done with this coat on this side we'll just pick it up and the three legs will fall out we'll flip it over on the stationary ones and finish the other side okay we're ready for a flip we got the two coats on this side we'll set it up on the next barrel just like that and we did one wheel weight we'll just give that a flip the other side Now we get them painted, we can transfer them back inside and we'll bring the other hub and the other weight out and get them done. Okay, we're done here. As you can see, why we put the legs the other side, if we'd have set it on that cap with that primer, we'd have probably scuffed it. It would have scuffed it, then it would have been ugly. Yeah, yeah. so it's come out with a pretty smooth finish on her now. We're getting the uh, second coat on the wheel weight. And then we got the other wheel weight and the other hub set up for the initial first coat on them. Okay, second coat on the uh, hub. We'll do the flip there. And we got the second coat on the second wheel weight. We're ready for the flip there. There, we'll get them finished up, then we have that monster pulley to do yet. What I went and did here, I went and sprayed them barrels down with some insect repellent with DTN. We were swarmed with mosquitoes around there. Seems that paint really attracts them. Since I just sprayed the sides of them barrels down, I haven't hardly seen a mosquito around since. I don't know if you notice once in a while we got a little fuzzy flying around here in the air, but for the most part it's been really good for painting today. Perfect weather. Here's our last piece to get done. We've got plenty of paint left, it looks like, so uh, we're going to take our time, make sure we got good coverage on this pulley. Uh, big issues you've been having is flipping that without uh, getting on some marks. Our primer's a little soft yet, but uh, I think we got our systems figured out. Well, good thing we only did the first coat on the pulley because some dumb little fly decided to come along after the fact and land on the fresh paint. So, the joys of painting outside, right? Yeah. Actually, that's the first uh, casualty we really had today. Almost had them. There we go. Yeah, that's... Uh, paint over that, you'll... Yeah, I don't think... You don't hardly see anything there. Yeah. Good thing uh, this is our last coat. Starting to see a lot of little black flies and mosquitoes starting to fly around. So we we'll get this one done. Uh, it'll be a pretty successful day of painting. Actually turned out pretty decent today. Here we go. Final inspection. Make sure he hasn't got any thin spots, missed spots, or whatever. Kind of working the light here, turn it around a few times. Looks like he's happy with it. Uh, we're ready to move this in. This is a two-person job here. We don't want that tipping around. Okay, everybody, recap of today's activities. Overall, I would say the system worked pretty well. Here are our hardware boards, all that covered very well. As long as we were priming everything, I had both of these paper pulley hubs. This is the formal one that we disassembled a few episodes back. This is the Caterpillar D2 paper pulley hub that we disassembled going on two years ago now. So both of those have been sandblasted, reconditioned. They are known good and they've been primed so both of those are ready to send off to paper pulleys whenever we deem it to be proper time um all of the wheel components look pretty good now the rough cast oh this was our test today to see if we had um optimal painting conditions or not the rough rough cast all looks pretty good 
but when you look at the domed center hubcaps you can tell there's there's a, a little bit of uh, debris in there under the paint or in the paint that settled onto the surface during the painting process and the big Zeus pulley again that looks uh, that looks pretty well um, the inside actually turned out pretty good the outside I can see a little bit more orange peel surface than I would like but that could be the fact that this is not the Martin Senor paint that we were putting on the Farm All H last summer this is a different brand so I left all the gun settings where they were and that could be the reason why we have a little bit more orange peel in here we've got a good reflection though so it's still not what I would call bad also as you can see in the background both of the front rims for the Farm All Super M project have been cleaned and are wearing their full fresh coat of silver. So that means we have everything coated, ready to continue with the wheel swap. I'm gonna give this paint about three days minimum to set up, maybe a little bit longer. I'll come out and check it when it seems like it's uh, cured to the point where it can be handled without uh, easily being damaged. We'll, uh, we'll proceed with finishing that project. Mosquitoes are pretty thick in here because we had doors open today. It's the spring hatching, so they're especially voracious, so it's time to wrap this up. Um, I would say from the results of the painting today, we're still a little bit uh, early to attempt sheet metal on the Farm All H. So we're gonna hold off at least another week, maybe two weeks, and then reassess before we get into that painting. So as always, everyone, I thank you for watching. I need to get out of these mosquitoes, throw this episode together, so I will let you all go. Hope to see you all back again.